guys, it's Auntie. Welcome to your welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are once again in Royal High, where I'm going to be doing another commentary video. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the popular website and trading website, Tradery. This has been a recent trending topic on YouTube in the Royal High community, so that's how I'll put my two cents into it. So today's video, I'm as I said like a billion times, I'm talking about tradery, but something different. A lot of people have been calling it a scam website and it promoting scams and getting people scammed out of their items. They've also been accused for leaking future updates and accessories that were supposed to come to Royal High that were not supposed to be leaked yet. I want to put a disclaimer right now, I'm going to be showing no bias in this video. Just because my sister may have gone sponsored by them and some of my friends doesn't mean I have my don't have certain opinions about them. This video is going to be 100% unfiltered and unbiased and just my honest opinion on the website. So before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Once you have subscribed, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you like this video, um, you will be 1 billion yen out of debt. If you guys get that reference, also like the video. So let's get started. So the first thing you might be wondering, what is tradery? Tradery, I might put a picture right here, that's why I'm gonna make it slanted. Okay, so basically tradery is a trading website that multiple Roblox players can jump, come and trade items on it. The most popular games on that site being Adopt Me and Royal High. But we're gonna be focusing on Royal High today. So a lot of people on YouTube have been calling it a tra a trade scamming website scamming people out of their items diamonds and also leaking items many youtubers have made comment commentary videos about this I'll try and leave as many videos as I can in the description including my sister has also made a video on this Royal Roleplay Roy Dior and many more some being sponsored not being not but a lot of them have a different opinions on it. Some think it's good, some think it's bad. It is spiral out of the control to the point that a lot of people think it's bad, but they're not gonna get your idea. Again, this is an unbiased video. I'm gonna be talking about what I think and only what I think. So let's get into the first point. Is it good or bad? It is in retrospect, it depends. The concept of the site and the site itself is good. It's not a bad idea and it actually opens more people to trading in a safer way. But you know what is bad? When you scam. It's not necessarily the site scamming you, it's the users. So there's no reason to be bad at the site. The users can scam, just like how they scam, scam a Royal High. It's just like getting mad at the Royal High developers, or Royal High in general, because you think it's a scamming game, when it's just the players inside of it. Which leads me on to my m next point, the scams. Many people get scammed inside of Royal High and other games such as Adopt Me, but we shouldn't be blaming the game for the subject matter. It's not the game's fault that they have scammers, it's just the people inside of it. That's why you cannot label Adopt Me as full of scamming. Although it is, you should not label the game in that, su the game in that subject matter because that's not what the game was created for. And this goes for any game that has a trading feature where people happen to scam. Trust me, this will happen in any single game. There's so many places that you can trade in Royal High and just all of Roblox and they will definitely have a lot of scammers. I mean, scammers are even in real life. It's like calling the world itself a scamming place when there's just the people in it. The planet doesn't scam us. Which leads me on to my next point, why the site itself isn't bad. Tradery was created to make a safe and harmless environment for several traders that love to trade, but want to do it in a safer manner. Therefore, they actually made a feature where you can upload different accessories that's been added to the game. Because they have to think of it. They have Royal High in their game, which I think is a great honor for, e for any Royal High player to be added to a place with such big games. But then there are games like Adopt Me, which by far, no hate to Royal High or anyone, I'm not saying it's dying or anything, I'm saying that we all know that is the biggest game in Roblox, and so far, the biggest game that's hit Roblox, even bigger than Royal High, Bloxburg, etc. This, again, isn't a shade, it's just pure facts. According to these facts, and because of these facts, it's a bigger factor on Tradery, because that's the biggest game on Roblox, and even if you make a video about adopt me it actually qualifies as its own game so you have to justify how big it is therefore 
the trainer he would probably be very focused on the biggest game Roblox and improving it. They also added the feature where you can add different pets that come out because I doubt this probably multi-million dollar company goes on Roblox every day trying to see the newest pets and accessories. That's why they let their players and users upload the newest accessories. Which leads me on to my next fact about the leaks. People leak everything. People leak inappropriate pictures, accessories, confidential items, etc. It's just one thing that people in our world love to do for some twisted reason. Because of this, on Twitter is a very big platform for Royal High developers, users, artists, etc. The Royal High community surrounds around Twitter, and that's probably their safe social media platform. Not exactly in the word safe do I mean like it's a safe platform, I mean that that's their safety net. If they want to say something about Royal High, they can immediately go onto Twitter. They also get a lot of tea and leaks from Twitter. For example, in December of 2020, we had a gen we had an advent calendar event which every day you could gift to you and your friends to receive gifts. On the fifth day of the advent calendar being up and running in public servers, someone on Twitter already leaked the whole calendar, leading people that saw on their timeline or searched it up spoiled to everything that they thought they were going to be surprised in the month of December. This completely ruined the whole event because I also saw on my timeline, which made me very upset because I wanted to be surprised. Because Tradery has a place where you can upload your own items and what is new to the game, obviously people started to post this onto Tradery, which also left people that use Tradery spoiled. It's not Tradery's fault that people started to upload this. In fact, it's the people that uploaded it's fault. Tradery just decided it would be great and interactive for the players to be able to put it on put the new items on Roblox because again this is a multi-million dollar company why would they go be going to the deep depths of Royal High and Twitter trying to dig out the newest leaks to put on their website when they've already been in hot water that leads me to believe again this comes back to my point and does not contradict it and shows that the tr the site itself is good but a play what players are doing in it is bad next we have my next point which is scamming on Tradery Tradery, I know this for a fact, doesn't endorse, support, or promote scamming any way possible. Heck, they supported YouTubers that talk against scamming, such as my sister and Royal Roleplay. Scamming is probably a big thing against their terms of condition and service. So as for Royal High, Adopt Me, Murder Mystery 2, and so many other games that trade. They don't endorse or promote trade scamming, yet people still do it. And there's not much they can do. Even with many ch trading updates that they made to try and eliminate scamming, there will always be scamming in this world, and there's not much we can do about it. There's not much they, we could do about it. People will scam wherever they can, even on Tradery. I've actually traded through Tradery before and luckily didn't get scammed. It's just one of those few people that try to scam you. Even when you go to Royal High servers, there's a highly present chance that you'll get scammed unfortunately. Is it because Royal High is a scamming game? No. Is it because the player feels like it's necessary to scam kids out of their accessories, items, etc? Yes. Which is why we should be getting mad at the scammer, not the website. Let's think of it like this. People are labeling the whole of Tradery as a bad site. Meanwhile, there's so many other places where you can get scammed. Let me give you guys this clear example. Let's say that you bought something on eBay. You paid the person the money and they promised to give it to you. But when you get something in the mail, oh my gosh, my recorder just cut off. But it's fine because let me continue my example. Let's check you check in the mail and there's nothing in your package. You're furious because you paid, let's say, a thousand diamonds or a hundred dollars of your life and you didn't even get the thing that you paid for. Would you say the whole of eBay is a scam or would you say the person that scammed you is a scam? eBay had would have nothing to do with this. It would be you getting scammed by someone else on the platform. They can get easily banned from the owner of eBay and the bots on eBay, but that is out of your hands now. This is out of eBay's hands. They made it a, the safest platform they can for different people to buy items. It's the person that scammed you's fault, not the website. Think of it, tradery, as a website like eBay. 
they are just making a place where you can sell things and trade things but one out of blue mood scams you you shouldn't target the whole website yet talk about and try to report the person that scammed you also guys if you want me to talk about a video on how to avoid these scams please like this video and leave it down in the comments down below that's my main opinion on tradery i hope you guys enjoyed this video and agreed with me Again, this is a very up to discussion topic, so please let me know what you think in the description in the comments down below. If you would like me to make a second part to this, which I'll be more than happy to because I do have more opinions, but I don't want this video to be over 30 minutes because I could ramble on for this for days. Please like this video and subscribe. Once you have subscribed, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget to follow me at MissAntique underscore YT and join the group at Glotiques. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, Glotiques!